Hi, myself Dhruba. Welcome to English Leap Video Lessons. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Let's go back and listen to what I said again. Hi, myself Dhruba. Oh, there it is. That's our problem right there. I'm sure you've heard this expression before. It's used very commonly by people to introduce themselves. It is also incorrect. The use of the word myself is something that many English speakers find confusing, including those for whom it is a first and native language. Questions about this matter are generally among the most frequently asked on grammar websites. So let's take a look at this problem and fix it once and for all. The sentence you see is an example of the correct usage of myself. Can you identify what type of word it is? Since it is being used to refer to the subject, which is a noun, it is obviously a pronoun. But myself is not any kind of pronoun. It is a reflexive pronoun. Like himself, herself, itself, and themselves. These pronouns share one main feature. None of them can be used as the subject of a sentence. The subject of a sentence, as we know, is the noun that performs the action. The object is the noun that the action is being performed upon. It is this role that reflexive pronouns play. Now that we've got that role out of the way, Let's go back to that first sentence. Hi, myself Druba. Let us place this sentence next to it. Here, I is the subject and am is the verb. Now, it looks like what we've done is replace the subject-verb combination with the reflexive pronoun myself. Obviously, we know that this is wrong, because myself can only be an object. It is never used as a replacement for me, my, or I. The correct way to say this would be, my name is Dhruba. We know now how myself can't be used. But how can it be used? Mainly, two ways. Firstly, like other reflexive pronouns, myself is used when the subject and object of a sentence happen to be one and the same person. In this case, you, the speaker. In other words, when you are both performing and receiving an action, you use myself as the object of the sentence. Hence, we say, I looked at myself in the mirror. Secondly, reflexive pronouns can be used for emphasis, as in This sentence makes complete sense even without myself. Hence, it is only being used to emphasize the fact that the speaker will be doing something with or without the help of others. Let's do a quick revision of the main things to keep in mind when using myself then. That's it really. Keep these in mind and you should never have a problem. And remember, Keep practicing.